Hello everyone, it's me Chebby from Inic Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you best free of course DTP or desktop publishing software for Windows, Mac and Linux computer. So without any more delay, let's begin. So firstly, just open any web browser and in the Google search, just search for the application name as Scribus to search this application and on the first list, it will see its official website. Just click on it. Now you can see its official website. You can read about this software if you wish. And in the above, you can see your get scribbles. Just click on it. Now, just scroll down below. Now you can see your. It will provide a two version. One is a stable branch, and one is a beta branch. So if you want to test the newer features or newer features that are going to made available in the stable then you can try but I will recommend to use the stable portion which is a very negligible box so if you are interested in the developer portion or the beta portion then you can try by clicking on here so just click on this download to download the stable portion now you will see a uh, different download options for different operating system so you can see your for Windows 32 bit, Windows 64 bit, even there is a portable scripts. If you want to try a scripts on your Windows computer without needing to install, then you can download this portable scripts. And there is a version for Mac and tons of Macs. And on the right side, you can see there are tons of download options for different Linux operating systems. So, depending upon what operating systems you are using on your respective computer you download for that so right now I'm using a Windows computer so I'll be downloading the Windows 64 bit as I'm using a 64 bit processor so I will just start clicking on it just click on this download wait for a few seconds So finally the download has been started so you need to wait few more seconds until the complete downloading is done. Finally the file has been downloaded so let me go to the folder where it is being downloaded and let me close this web browser. So now just double click this software installer to run the installer. So just click on OK and click on next. Now click on I accept, click on next. Now click on next, click on next and click on install. Wait for a few more seconds until the complete installation is done. So finally the software has been installed successfully. Now you can click on finish to start using this application. So wait for a few more seconds until the application gets loaded. So just click on OK to start using it. Now it will show you some instructions to select the size of the layout so here you can see on the right side f4 you want to select any page layout you can select before using this application it then there is a custom also if you want to use a custom layout and on the left side you can see your single page double sided page three folded page four folded page and below there are some measurements or settings you can customize so I'll just keep it as default like F4 and orientation also you can use a portrait and landscape whatever you like you can change the wide and height if you use a custom also so I'll just keep it as default whatever it is and I'll just click on OK now let us maximize this and before proceeding let us give a quick overview about what are the options we're going to get so here are the edits in the edits you will get tons of similar options like the edit paste select all colors and different like master pages and next to it is the item right now i can select since i have to add some items and you can see under the in short you can get a tons of options like text frame image frame render insert table insert steps insert lines we'll discuss on later on one by one this and next is a page insert import and tons of options next to it is a view you can just get a layout extras if you can add some extra features and scripts windows then there is you can set the measurements align distributes 
and some PDF tools help and here you can see in the toolbar there are tons of icons right so here you can see in the first icon is a new that means if you want to create a new page layout you can just select this next to it is a uh, open if you want to access any file or import any file you can click on this and next to it is a uh, save you can just click on it to save the current task and next to it is a uh, print pre-flight peripheral and here is a save as PDF option directly and there is a undo and redo cut copy paste and here are some options like select item insert text frame next to it is a insert image frame and next to it is a insert render frame and insert tables and like a save you can get a tons of different saves as you can see here arrows whatever you like and here are more saves and this is a next to it is a insert line insert bezier curve and insert free end line rotate item zoom in edit contents of frame you can edit the contents of frame later on and here is the edit text link text unlink text measurements copy item properties eyedroppers and here are some more options like insert pdf post button insert pdf text field insert pdf checkbox insert pdf combo box and insert pdf list box and insert text annotations and last one is the insert link annotation so say if you want to insert an image you can just select this insert image frame right and you can just select your area whatever layout or a book layout or magazine layouts you want to use say let me just resize it say I want to add a picture here on this page right so to insert a picture just right click on it and you can see your get image just click on it now you can access to the folder where you have saved the picture so in my case I've saved in the picture folder so let me go to the folder so I'll just select this click on OK so now you can see the picture has not been fit to this box right so just right click on it now you can see your option adjust image to frame so you can adjust just just the frame you can just drag it wherever you want to place this image so if you want more smaller in size you can just resize it you can drag it whatever you like so once your placement is done you can just cl click on the blank area so I want a picture to be here and I want to add some text here so what I will do you can see here the above insert text frame so just select this and once again just drag it so I want to create a book like this layout so just double click it and now you can see a blinking cursor now you can type So once you're done you can just click on the other area right so there are more options if you want to add a table also you can still insert a table also so let me show you so i've selected and you can select the number of rows and columns say i will just increase it to five increase it to five and click on ok and even you can add uh, many things here you can add whatever you want to add inside it so you can do a tons of options and tons of task and to perform your DTP or the desktop publishing using the scripts software and once you are done to save it you can just go to the file and you can see your export under the export option you can see a uh, save as EPS that is the ANSAP encapsulated postscript or you can save it as PDF or you can save it as image file also or you can save it as a uh, scalable vector graphics so if you want to save it as pdf you can just select the save as pdf now you can give a name whatever name you want to give so let me just select this and let me save on the this location you can give a 
document name whatever file you want to keep so i'll just keep it as it is click on ok and here are some options you can choose here so i'll just keep it as it is whatever default settings has been selected so i'll just click on save now this sample has been saved so let us go to the folder and here is our video file that is which i have created so finally you can see the output how it looks like so this is how it looks once i create using this so there so in my opinion it's a very good free of course ddp software for windows mac and linux computer that you should definitely give it a try so if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching